Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. If you are uh, brand new to the channel, guys, thank you very much for uh, tuning in, spending a couple of moments uh, with us. Uh, if you like what we do and kind of our point of view on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis, uh, all I ask, if you could be so kind, take a second uh, to like the video, subscribe, share, uh, all of that good stuff. So yesterday, again, anarchy, crazy open, uh, you know, fighting for your life, ultimately uh, playing out for the good guys. But again, we want boring guys. We want boring. We want lethargic. We want predictable because that way you are in control of your trading. And the most important part every single day is that you are in control. The market's open. Great. You're not trading uh, because the market is open. You're trading because you're getting value and you're getting value on an organic basis. So I was very, very happy to kind of get out of yesterday's situation. Number one, not on the number one on the right side of the ledger, but more important, uh, with my head, uh, in uh, attached to my shoulders. That was very, very important. Um, so we went into today, right? We went into today. We, the question was, were we going to lose, uh, the 20 day moving average that, uh, the market, uh, put in yesterday on the QQQs? Obviously the market is still trying to, uh, to digest all the news from the middle East. Uh, that's obviously going to be, uh, a very fluid situation for, you know, it's not going to just end in one or two days. Uh, it's going to be out there. But what I did like to see was that the market did not, right? They did not lose uh, the previous day's range. That's the good news, right? That's the good news if you're a bull. We did not lose yesterday's shadow. The bad news is we also didn't progress, right? Uh, if you look at all the magnificent seven stocks, and that is, you know, your Meta's, Amazon, Google's, um, Tesla's, Apple, NVIDIA, uh, I forgot what the last one is, Microsoft, right? None of them, like zero, zero of them uh, got above the previous day's range. That's a very, very big deal. And this is kind of where, where in basic technical analysis, you call this an inside day, right? Didn't take out yesterday's highs, didn't take out the yesterday's lows, which is obviously a bad thing. And you did see uh, a bunch of names, okay? Still lose the previous day's range. We'll get to uh, the pivots in a second. But the most important part was, you know, how the market handled the lows. It was actually pretty good. And it felt like there was a huge rally. And then you realize, well, nothing took out the previous day's range. Uh, the big key stories say the story headlines, one before the open, uh, the one after the close. Uh, well, first one was Tesla, right? So Tesla yesterday, uh, yesterday um, had a, you know, a saving day, right? It came in like Mariana Rivera for me uh, in the ninth inning and closed down a win, which was great, which is absolutely what the doctors ordered. And we talked about yesterday, uh, the potential for the stock if it lost the ten day moving average. And I gave a you know ton of a uh, ton of uh, examples of what happens when a stock loses the the ten day moving average. Usually, will go down to a ten. So they had their third quarter deliveries today. Uh, it looks like they missed, right? It looks like they missed their third quarter deliveries. So what every single stock does when it loses the ten day? Well, I'll test the twenty day moving average, and that's exactly what happened. Again, we'll get to uh, the pivots in a second uh, after the close. Okay. Um, the NVIDIA CEO, Jensen Huang, just said that the Blackwell, okay, is currently uh, in production as planned. So all these, uh, you know, all these reports of a delay, two-month delay, three-month delay, six-month delay, whatever the case may be, he basically said the, st uh, the stock, well, the company is in, uh, in line for production as planned. And you can see here after the close, uh, NVIDIA is up about a dollar and change, right? Why is that important? Well, today... It held the 50 day moving average, held the 50 day moving average for literally three times uh, since September 23rd. So that's bullish. Here's what I want to see happen with NVIDIA, right? I, I want to see it just like pretty much every single stock. I want to see it reclaim back the five day moving average. If we're in a, you know, in a channel here that we're in an inside day and we didn't take out the highs, we didn't take out the lows, the, 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 I, the professional opinion would say, well, we're going to retest the lows, but if this news came out and maybe NVIDIA kind of sparks the rest of the semiconductors, maybe it's going to put some life into all the NASDAQ 100 members and the, the stocks that held today that didn't take out the previous day's lows. Maybe they wake up tomorrow. So I think NVIDIA's you know little 
uh, PR after the close, maybe, you know, there's a shot, right? There's a shot uh, that the bulls start firing up again. Uh, but the key is for NVIDIA, because again, remember this, it needs to take out a previous day's high uh, to go higher. The previous day's channel is still, you can see even from the after hours jump of a dollar, it's still two, two and a half dollars away. So the bulls have uh, some work to do. And that's, you know, that's that's a very, very important uh, understanding. The key is for NVIDIA, get above the five day. And if it gets above the five day, I think a lot of names will get above the five day as well. On the flip side, if this is just like a knee jerk reaction and, you know, NVIDIA's announcement gets faded, well, yeah, guys, you have to start looking at names that potentially could test yesterday's lows. Uh, although, uh, you know, AMD tried to rally today, right? It tried to rally today. What did it do? It did nothing, right? It did absolutely nothing. It was up uh, three cents on the day. Again, you have to be wary of the 10 day, right? If, if this NVIDIA, uh, if this NVIDIA um, announcement does nothing for anything else or any, uh, any other semis and AMD starts losing the 10 day moving average tomorrow, you know, this thing could get hit, right? Look, look where it got rejected. This is kind of my point of stocks need to reclaim back the five day, the shortest term support uh, for sure, shortest term supplies. You can see here three days in a row, AMD's got rejected off the five day moving average. So we have to continue to watch the 10. If it starts losing the 10, uh, it's going to go lower. Look at Microsoft, right? We talked about Microsoft yesterday. What happens if it loses the 50 day moving average? Not only did Microsoft not have an inside day, it went lower, right? It went lower. And now it's very, very close uh, to potentially losing this 200 day. And this is what happens when you lose the 200 day moving average. It's very, very important. You know, look at a name like Adobe, right? Look at Adobe. Adobe yesterday broke down, right? It broke down yesterday about a two week cycle. It broke down. This is the low, you know, yesterday was the lowest close in the whole formation. The stock got murdered yesterday. The stock was only up three bucks today. Again, this is an inside day. Like what happens if Adobe confirms yesterday's channels, right? This thing's going to get, it's going to get rocked. So there's a lot of names that just don't look good. They just absolutely don't look good. Again, maybe NVIDIA with this PR gets everything else going. Uh, Tesla today, right? Tesla's again, another perfect example. Uh, took out the 10, right? Took out the 10. Traded down to the 20. We had a perfect bounce, absolutely perfect bounce uh, from the 20 day, uh, from the 20 day support. Again, Tesla's been an awesome trader, really has been an absolutely awesome trader. Uh, but again, is it possible uh, that Tesla has an inside day tomorrow? Yeah, sure, absolutely it's possible. For Tesla, it would need for the bulls to have any type of success, it's going to need to reclaim back the 10 day moving average that it lost yesterday. And for the bears, they're going to need to reclaim back. The 20 day that it, it, it tested successfully tested in bounce day. So there's a lot of names that just don't look healthy. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see if NVIDIA's uh, after hours PR will spark everything. Uh, so far, I'm not really seeing any other names really participate. Uh, so far, this is kind of just it, it, it included just to NVIDIA. Usually, if the market's hot, everything's going to start uh, spiking back up. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see. So let me give you guys. Uh, some ideas for tomorrow. Uh, let me give you guys. Actually, you know what? Let me give you guys. Let me let's talk about the pivots for today, and then we'll get to some ideas uh, for tomorrow. Uh, Tesla, right? Tesla's uh, you know third quarter deliveries uh, came in lighter than expected. Uh, again, here is the pivot. Uh, Two forty eight fifty three is the ten day. If it builds below, can flush, right? So here is Tesla, right? Took out the two eight two forty eight fifty three pre market and just got smoked. Got smoked all the way down. Uh, to the 20 day moving average of uh, 241.50s. 241.60 was our remount bounce. So it's worked out really, really well uh, for uh, Tesla today. But again, big moves, big moves both on the natural pivot, on the natural pivot and the bounce. Uh, Nvidia again held the 50 day moving average. It lost 57, uh, 1579, traded out about 60, 70 cents. It held the 50 day and then it just had a big, big run. And obviously, right now, uh, it's up about uh, you know it's up about a buck after the close. Uh, AMD I was watching uh, today never got there again. I'm still watching this level for tomorrow. Again, doesn't mean uh, doesn't mean that the the, the level is not valid anymore. It just needs to confirm tomorrow. Uh, UEC uh, a little penny name uh, uranium play six sixty three uh, needs to build. Here was uh, UEC not a big move, but you know again here is UEC. We talked about this uh, yesterday, right? Six sixty three. It got above. It's a play on this whole uranium uh, nuke missile game, which is an unfortunate thing. Pretty much closed uh, within a penny or two of the high of the day. This thing looks like a $7 push. So again, if this is your thing, congratulations. Stock's up about 20 cents 
Uh, Microsoft, nice little trade. Uh, Microsoft uh, 50, 418, 81 is the 50 day. If it builds below, can flush. Here was Microsoft. Uh, took out the uh, 418, uh, 81, traded all the way down. Uh, to 1670. This thing looks one day away. Again, it better hold tomorrow because if it doesn't, uh, this thing's going to go lower. So a nice move on Microsoft. Uh, SMCI continues to hold 40. Uh, that didn't change today. It actually spiked up today. And uh, I believe that's it, right? I believe that is it for today. Again, it's not uh, It's not about, about 2,000 trades. It's about the trades that are valid and you are comfortable in taking. So let me give you guys... Uh, some ideas uh, for tomorrow. Uh, let's start off with Carvana. You know, Carvana, not bad, right? Carvana's not bad looking chart. Had a massive, massive run. It's only two red closes in the last two weeks. Uh, nice consolidation. Keep an eye on this thing, guys. If this thing starts taking out yesterday's range, Carvana uh, can wake up. Uh, ENVX, again, this is a name we've we've had several times in the past. Uh, today, it took out the 50-day moving average, closed into supply. Watch this thing for tomorrow. If this thing can just get back above this um, 1070s, $11 area, maybe you guys are day two. Keep an eye on that. Uh, Adobe, we talked about a few minutes ago. Uh, watch this thing. This thing starts losing yesterday's range. Uh, this thing can go lower. Same thing with AMD. Loses yesterday's range. This thing can go lower. So for, for NVIDIA tomorrow, I will be watching how it handles uh, the five-day moving average, the five-day adjust day-to-day, just like every other moving average. So once I see if NVIDIA can hold serve uh, and can reclaim the five-day moving average, obviously then we'll have a good natural pivot uh, to focus on uh, for tomorrow. But right now, it's of a buck, about a buck uh, after the close on this uh, uh, on this news of their, I guess, what is it called, Blackwood chip. Uh, being in line with production expectations. And again, we'll, we'll be very, very curious to see uh, if the market, it pulls up uh, all the technology names with it, or is this going to be a continuation of selling uh, from yesterday's cycle? Guys, God bless everybody. Hope everybody does well. Hope to see you guys all on the field. Happy, healthy, and in one piece. Take care, guys. Have a great, great night.